Good morning. We should be live in about another minute or so, okay? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Let's get ready for our morning YouTube live here. It look like I saw Mr. Thomas is on. I've been watching your videos, Mr. Thomas. Your latte art is getting better. Good morning, Linda. Okay, Good morning, George. Okay. Let's get going. Hello and welcome back. Uh, if you are new to the My Morning YouTube Live, uh, welcome to the community. So uh, my, my YouTube Live show is I try to focus on the how to and to show you guys, uh, show you guys the unedited version of kind of like different method and different process. So you guys are going to see, you know, what that rear kind of like the workflow looks like, okay? Because sometimes if I uh, put on the video that, you know, edit it, which means you are going to kind of like I skip out the, the boring, not the boring part, but you know, kind of ugly part of the video. And so in this case, you guys see the all the workflow, okay? So this morning, I'm gonna try some different uh, pour over method so so yesterday video yesterday we dialed in the coffee is yesterday for the my pour over method so yesterday I think I think I decide that uh, between 40 and 45 I think I'm gonna get the best result on my kind of like pour over method so this morning I'm gonna set at around like 42 on my niche grinder so Second here, so let me show you guys. So yesterday I did you know different coffee grinds size uh, tasting yesterday. So yesterday I was at here. I, so we tried 35, 40, and 45. I thought 40, 40 and 45 was the best tasting. So we, we are going to stay with maybe like 42 okay maybe 43 i think we should get a pretty good result there okay so this morning i'm going to be using same beans from um good brothers it's called ethiopia nano cholua so marmame honey and lemon so this is a very bright and very fruity drink okay so i'm going to be using that as my uh, v60 and this side i'm using the it's called gino drippers from uh not neutral i got not neutral cup there as well so this morning, I'm going to be using uh, decaffeinated coffee from Aprende, our, our friends at Aprende Cafe. Uh, Flavia owns it. So that's decaf. I really enjoyed it last time uh, making uh, espresso. So uh, he told me that, I mean, the best with uh, pour over. So we are going to try that this morning. Uh, we're going to do the pour over and tasting notes and mustard and honey. So, okay, so we are going all out this morning. I'm going to be using my uh, third wave water, okay? And then I'm going to be tasting with my croup cup as well. So I'm bringing out all my gadgets. So I got my uh, regular hot water. So that's my third wave water is all boiling and nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the hot water to wash the filter and then finish it up with uh, third wave water to make some uh, beautiful coffee there. And then we uh, also we are using niche grinder as well. So it's gonna be fun, okay? I mean, I can, by the way, if you haven't tried pour over at home, if you guys like good Americano black coffee, 
I highly uh, recommend you guys to try one. Okay, try at least once or twice. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm going to wash my paper here. So, so this is a V60 paper. What I like to do is I like just fold it. Okay, before whenever I'm making coffee, so it fits right in to my dripper here. So uh, let's get going. Okay. Let's get going here. By the way, my cat is just hanging out on the bottom there. He loves to play with my cord, so. All right, so here we go. So water is nice and hot. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna start with my V60. I'm just gonna wet, kind of like get rid of the, all the filter, and the coffee filter taste, okay. Okay, there we go. And same time, you're going to also heat up the, your uh, canister as well. I'm just gonna do the same thing for the, my Gino Dripper. Okay. And once it's done, I'm just gonna toss the water. Okay, so I'm gonna be using uh, 15 gram of both, okay? 15 gram of that, let's see here. So I'm, I'm gonna be using like one to 15 ratio, okay? So, I got 15 gram in, I'm gonna extract around like 275, just under 300 gram of uh, coffee. So and I'm gonna start with uh, Ethiopia coffee beans. from here man that's very fruity though for the Ethiopia I'll, if you haven't tried Ethiopia highly recommend it okay all right so from here goes in here make sure whenever you guys do it just make sure like tap it you're gonna make the flat bed first okay and also, I know some people use their finger to kind of like make a little dip there. So put the water. Okay, from here. You know what? Let's. Go. I'm going to. So I'm going to be doing the first phase is the blooming phase. So I'm going to be uh, kind of one to two ratio for the initially. I'm just going to start the timer. I'm going to put about 30 gram of water okay i'm just gonna swerve it like this so hopefully you guys can see it like so make sure you get the, all the air bubble out and then i'm gonna be wait about 30 seconds okay so 30 seconds are up, and then next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put about 120 gram. Okay. I'm just gonna go side to side. Hopefully, you, got, uh, you know, you guys, I know, yeah, you guys cannot see it, but, or maybe I hope that I can show you guys better view here. I'm just gonna side to side. We'll have 120 gram. And after that, And I'm going to slowly put the coffee in the middle. By the way, there's no bad techniques out there. Just try different techniques. Okay, I'm just gonna slowly. I'm going up to about two, maybe like 250 or 260, maybe 270. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna finish up here. Let's do 270. Let's do, you know what, sorry about the camera angle. Again, 
So that's, yeah. That's why you don't want to do. Hold on. Goodness. This is a great thing about live shows. You don't know what's going to happen. Okay, hold on a second. Good. All right. Sorry about that. Okay, so you want to be extraction just under three minutes. I mean, that's what I'm shooting for right now. Around three minutes. So I'm almost there. 2.35. Good. Okay. All right, so we are done with that coffee. And then what we're going to do is uh, uh, next one, we're going to do the decaf next time. But I'm just going to take it away. Okay. Right now it's too hot to drink. I'm just going to wait a little bit. It smells really good. I mean, I can't wait to try this because so uh, today we are going to use the third wave water because I really enjoyed the third wave water last time. So it's going to be fantastic. Okay, I'm going to sit it down for a sec. And then let's work on the caffeinated coffee from Upper the Cafe here. Doing the same method. Oops. I got 15 gram here. In the meantime, I'm gonna heat up some more water. Okay, I throw away water. Because you wanna use hot as possible. Okay. I think it's the comes to process. I mean pour over is really, I mean you don't have to. I mean, you don't need much, okay? The only thing you need is some, uh, some kind of uh, dripper and hot water. You know, you are going to make some really good coffee. By the way, if you are thinking about using your Brista Express or Brista Pro to grind your pour over, it's tough, okay? I mean, I tried it a few times. It doesn't get coarser enough because you want to be somewhat coarser. Like uh, people say medium to fine. So yeah, it's going to be a little tough to use it. That's why, I mean, our Brista machine is the made for espresso. Yeah. All right. I think uh, I'm going to try. I'm going to try the Ethiopia coffee beans. By the way, this coffee is very fancy and it has a little fin on the bottom. You can actually swerve it, okay? And also you can actually smell the coffee as well. Wow, I can definitely smell the lemon. Really strong. Cheers, guys. Clean, lemony, man, it's fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna wait a little bit longer, okay? Because whenever your temperature change, your the uh, the flavor changes as well, so so that's good. Okay. So next thing we're gonna do is Flavio's coffee beans right here. The lemon, uh, lemon, wait, honey and mustard flavor. Okay, honey and mustard. The water is almost ready. By the way, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday morning. Okay. Uh, let's see today's weather. Temperature right now, 69, no, 65 degrees, sunny. It's pretty nice, okay, pretty nice. So with, uh, let's say with the decaffeinated coffee, I'm gonna be using the, another cup, different design as well. So. So this design has a large mouth, which means if you have like kind of like honey, like kind of like darker notes, this is really bring out that flavor and smell. 
water is almost I'm, I'm just gonna wait here until water is hot or get them on until it's boiling point and then I'm going to start uh, making pour over So my wife just walked in. If you have any questions, uh, ask her. Ask her away. <clears throat> All right. So water is almost ready. Okay, so. Okay, so this time around, maybe I can show you guys how I do it. Okay. The water is almost ready. I'm gonna wait till water is boiling. Uh, this um, sometimes I, you know, wonder. You know what? It'd be nice to have the electric kettle. Okay, but something about boiling from the gas stove, though. Something about it. I like. I like it. Okay, so water is boiling right now. So once your water is boiling, uh, I measured it yesterday, it's about 195 degrees. So. so meantime, I'm just going to prepare the, my dripper there. I'm just going to make the little hole. Okay. Water is ready. Okay, I'm going to start with, you know, hold on. I'm going to start the time first. Okay, I'm gonna put 30 gram in it. I'm just gonna stir it. Like so. I'm just gonna wait to 30 seconds, which means a degassing and blooming phase right now. Um, Flavia says when we do cupping, we let them get cold for taste to verify mm -hmm. the quality. Oh, maybe with his beans. Yeah, and I'm just going to I'm just gonna slowly but surely go out about just like last time 120 gram first. Do you have any videos on making coffee with stove top mocha pot? It's coming. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna slowly drip. I'm going to about 270 gram or milliliter. Because the last one, so V60, about two minutes and like 35, two minutes, like 40 seconds there, just under three minutes. So the last, so I'm using the same grinder setting as well, grind size. I'm just gonna go to 270 and then I like to just use a spoon to like maybe a couple times okay Something about a kind of a pullover, really fun and okay. With the Geno drippers, the flows are not as fast. I don't want to say fast, but because with a V60, with that grind size of two minutes and like, uh, let's say about 40 seconds there. Right now we are at the 230. So, I still have some, I got some long way to go. Again, by the way, the two minutes and 30 seconds or three minutes is kind of like the number that, that's something you have to try and error. 
it's just kind of like that's just that's kind of like guideline okay it's not the I mean it's not the right exact number it's all depend on your taste and, and it all depends so so that's good starting point so yes I'm so this is a little fine as well which means I have to next time I have to change even coarser okay so meantime I'm just going to stop I'm just going to take it out and then I'm going to see I'm going to taste the coffee okay Okay, so let's try the decaffeinated coffee. I'm just gonna change the cup. Okay, I'm just gonna smell it first. Man, it's a lot of mustard smell. Cheers, everybody. They're a little bit hot to drink. I'm just gonna wait a little bit. But meantime, uh, so this one, uh, V60 is nice and I mean, kind of like perfect temperature right now. So it's going to be better. Wow, it's clean, lemony flavor. It's, it's really nice, okay? It's definitely highly recommended. Highly recommend the pour over method. Again, you have to like play with the grinder size. I think uh, yesterday we were doing the coughing yesterday. Uh, I think I really like the flavor from like between like 40 and 45, but with V60 kind of uh, pour over method, I mean, EV even like 50, even better grinder set, uh, setting as well, or around 50, like 40, between 45 and 50, not the 40 and 45. So again, if you have a niche grinder. Okay, questions? Change the inner burr grinder for Breville Express. Will that be okay to get coarser enough for V60? Okay, so someone asked me a fantastic question there. Okay, if you change your inner burr grinder to the coarser, okay, so which means go all the way to 10 instead of you know one or two, and then if you go all the way to the kind of like uh, uh, let's say large size, uh, you could do it. I mean, yes, technically yes, which means but you have to play with it every single time. You have to take the burr out and then adjust it, put it back. And so that's a lot of work. I mean, that's why most people just uh, buy like inexpensive like hand grinder or some you know, in inexpensive burr grinder. So you can just use that for just for the pour over. So yes, uh, your answer, Mohammed, answer is yes. Like how long do you leave the beans in the can? Oh, so Conrad asked me about this coffee tin. I got from Amazon for like what, eight, nine bucks. Okay, so what I usually do is, um, I do it like first thing in the morning. So I did that for my morning YouTube live show. But uh, you could, I usually prepare a uh, day before. So like last night, I measure out like, you know, 15 gram or 14 gram for the, uh, my coffee and just leave it on, that's it. They're airtight as well. So, yeah, so it's, it's perfect for like, you know, single serving. I mean, it does take time, okay? You have to measure out every single time. So, yeah, for the sake of my videos, I do it. But again, if you are busy in the morning, make sure to prepare the night before. Okay, so now I'm going to try the decaffeinated coffee. Definitely, I can smell mustard as well. mustard and definitely honey aftertaste again this is a lot better than i think americano yesterday uh, from that decaf, decaf it's more smooth and the one thing the one thing i have to say uh, i try different decaffeinated for a while and uh, whenever i drink other decaffeinated coffee has a little different the unique uh, aftertaste hard to explain but this one I have to say, okay, I mean, it does not have aftertaste. I mean, it tastes like regular coffee, okay? So, I mean, please let me know in the comment section if anybody tried the Flavio's, the Upper End Cafe. 
the decaffeinated, I'm talking about the decaf. Let me know if you have the same experience as I do. Hey, by the way, is, it Flavio, is your coupon code still good? I think uh, he's, uh, he has coupon code for 15% off. So I'm going to put the link down below after our live show. So, I mean, yes. good, perfect. Uh, Flavio said yes. So I'm going to put the, his uh, discount code underneath as well. Yeah, so if you guys are looking for decaf, definitely check out the Flavio's coffee beans. I mean, this, I mean, it tastes like coffee, okay? Sometimes whatever you drink, like, let's say, like sugar-free or caffeine-free drinks, you have that funny aftertaste, but similar to decaf as well. But yeah, I mean, this, I mean, really good, tastes like coffee. So, any questions after that? I think we are good, guys. I think we are good. Uh, what I'm going to do is if you have any question on uh, coffee-related issues or even Brista Express, I'm going to jump into my Instagram Live right now. So, you know what? Wait. Hold on. Um, Dane said, I got some Hario filter papers for V60, and they have a strong smell of cinnamon. Anyone else experience this? Okay. So, so Dane asked, uh, Dane just got a Hario paper and he got the strong cinnamon taste if anybody has a smell not taste smell but yeah just let me know in the comment section because i mean that's another reason i rinse out my paper so but again the i think v6 i mean let me know in the comment section you guys prefer like v60 over like other method because uh gino Okay, so Gino, hold on. The Gino dripper is like, I think Flavio mentioned to me, is similar to a Calafe or Kalita style because it has a three holes on the bottom, okay? And so it gives you is better extraction. Not the better extraction, but stay, uh, stay there longer. So give you more better extraction than V60. V60 kind of like flow through. I mean, as you can see, you know, nice, you know, after done with it, nice and flat bed there. So I think I definitely adjust my grinder size to a little bit more coarser next time. But whenever I use the Gino Draper. Okay, I think if you don't have any questions, uh, I'm, again, I'm going to jump into Instagram Live. So if you have any questions there, just, just press that button, okay? Join the chat and we can talk about coffee for a little bit. And then, uh, if not, you, you guys having a wonderful Tuesday morning. And so tomorrow morning, you know what, let's do tomorrow morning, let's do mocha pot, okay? I know people have been asking me about mocha pot, so I'm going to do the stove top mocha pot instead of, yeah, we're going to do the stove top mocha pot, and then, you know, let, hopefully we can get it right. All right, uh, make sure to press the like on the button on your phone on my video, and then see you guys tomorrow.